Hey guys, this is Noah Wong Angel here, and right now I am super excited because I just pulled off one of the greatest comebacks of my life in terms of FIFA. And yeah, you're gonna see what happens, but I hope you guys don't mind. This is gonna be a one match episode, but I feel like it deserves it because it's such a spectacular comeback. You guys are not gonna believe this one. Um, I can't believe it, and, I, and I'm the one that actually made it happen. But yeah, guys, so as you can see, we're going against a nice squad that does have Hazard, Sanchez, Sturge, uh, Toure, Di Maria, Wayne Rooney, and obviously a beast defense, which I wasn't able to name. But um, we do, um, yeah, we do have an amazing comeback, which you will see right here. Right away off the kickoff, they do get a nice opportunity right there, which we do happen to block, which is very nice. Know you're on point right there. But Neuer does begin to fail me as the match progresses. Of course, Neuer can do it all, but I do expect some of these blocks. Like, for example, I didn't expect Hazard to make that shot, but he does make it. And um, I guess that's testament to the ability that Hazard has, because Hazard is one of the best when it comes down to being a left middle or even converted to left winger. He's definitely up there um, with the likes of like Ribery and stuff like that. But yeah, he does make it a 1 0 ball. Like I said, guys, whenever we get scored on, we always do turn up. And uh, this is exactly what happens right here with a nice little passing game. Look at that empty little space. Gunda won gently in. And you know when Gunda won scores, you know that their defense isn't so great. And and I don't know if they got cocky or whatever, but Gunda won's able to absolutely demolish them and making it one to one, guys. And uh, right here, I wasn't feeling dominated. I was feeling good. Like, I was feeling good about the match. We got a god tackle by both teams right here, but unfortunately, that wasn't enough because that guy manages to run all the way around. And, and because I think. Because of the defenders, uh, my defenders and his attackers getting in the way of Noir's vision, he couldn't react to that ball fast enough, and Noir does get scored on right there. Another play I think he could have blocked had he been better, but unfortunately he doesn't. And things are looking pretty, pretty bad, but not so bad until this happens. And Sturge absolutely destroys my entire defense, and Noir just gets absolutely raped, and Noir is not having a good day right now. And it is a two goal difference now, guys. And I'm at this point, my mentality was, all right, we gotta just get a quick goal. And um, unfortunately, that's not really what happened as the match progressed. Uh, we got here at almost the end of the first half, and they get a nice little play with Hazard, and they make it four to one, three goal difference. Uh, I was mad about that Sturridge goal. I wasn't swearing or anything like that. Like, if you guys want to hear the original audio, just let me know. I still have it. Um, you can still hear my voice, but I accidentally recorded with my webcam instead. But yeah, guys, um, and yeah, it was just like, what the heck? And then we get these fouls right here. That's not a foul, not a penalty. So I was, I was upset, but I wasn't as upset um, when it was like the fourth goal. I was like, okay, with Sturridge, you know, that was a bullshit goal. But now it's pretty much, you know, nearing the end of the road. So we're going in here in the next half, being completely dominated. And I'm here thinking, you know what? What we have to do is just make it not embarrassing. Like, you know, like at least score one more or two more goals just to keep it really close. I wasn't going to get hyped up if I did get to 4-3. Um, to three. As you can see, I'm trying everything here, guys. I'm even trying reckless passes. We do get a nice shot in. Unfortunately, we don't get it in the first chance, but Gundogan does make it in the second chance. A nice little bit of luck right there. And Gundogan putting two goals uh, in for us right now, making it 2-4. And I think that's a little bit more respectable than a three-goal difference. That was my mentality at this point. I didn't even care to watch the replay, really. But then I make a mistake, like, you know what I mean? And I, I'm mad about the mistake be, uh, after, as soon as I make it, not even as he tours, but he doesn't score. But I was already mad about it. I was like, how am I expected to make it, a, you know, make it legit, make it okay if I'm going to be making mistakes like that? Can't be doing that, guys. So I do step up on game right here, guys, and I am passing the ball around, trying to find the gaps. It's hard. It's hard, and they do block me off pretty much instantly. But then I do get a corner here, guys. And you guys know what I love to do in my corners. I love to do my classic little play here. The ball does not go to the guy I wanted to, but it does find Lewandowski, which he gets a lucky header in between two guys. I don't know how he did it, but we make it three to four. And right here, I wasn't excited yet. I wasn't excited yet because for the simple fact that I'm making, I'm here making mistakes. You know what I mean? So how am I supposed to do anything? I wasn't excited until this. We do get a play with Lewandowski, a pace play. He has Hunter on. There is no way that guy is going to catch him. And Lewandowski does indeed make it 4 to 4. And right now I'm excited, not because I think I'm going to win, but because I have made the greatest comeback. Even if they do score, I did make a comeback. The comeback was real. So I was like, all right, cool. We got the comeback. So then right here, we're just passing the ball around, trying to find one more play here, guys. Something, you know what I mean? I'm here looking for everyone. Like, well, what's going on here? We find the gap again. And it's again Lewandowski, hat trick and all, making it 5 to 4. And the greatest comeback of my FIFA career is right there with that fifth goal right there, that 5 to 4. That is not only a comeback, but we come back to win it. 
and we, I could have easily tied. And right there, that I thought that was a penalty, but it wasn't. But it equates, it balances out the, the previous foul I got in my box. So I was like, all right, that's cool. As you can see right here, he's trying to like age his way in, but we're not having any of that defensive game 100% right there, guys. And we keep trying to go forward though. We're not, we're not the slackers, you know what I mean? I've never been a type to just go to the back and wait for the game to end. And see, we're, we're striking with everything we have here, guys. And that's why I included a small little clip at the end. There's nothing really too dangerous, but I keep trying. I keep trying to score more because uh, that's what I do. I don't, I don't, I'm not wimpy. I'm not trying to be in the back, you know, like a lot of people would do. But yeah, guys, that is the completion of the greatest comeback history. And uh, my greatest comeback in history in terms of FIFA, and uh, as you can see, we, we keep trying to attack, we keep trying to go, and he's getting sloppy because he's desperate, so I'm trying to take advantage of that frustration and go for an attack, but his defensive game is 100%, guys, like, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't that, it wasn't until the greatest comeback was alive that he decided to turn up, and it was too late, and you see the Norris celebrating, even though a lot of the goals are his, are his fault, and um, yeah, we did it, guys. We pulled out the greatest comeback in history in FIFA 15 as uh, as my career, uh, in regards to my career. But yeah, guys, there it is. 5-2-4 Gundogan um, with two nice goals and Lewandowski with the three very important goals at the end. And um, we managed to turn it around here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this match. Lewandowski gets a 9.8. Very well deserved. And if you did, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. If you tweet at me that you're a gamer, I will follow you back. And I'm out for now.